Welcome back to Uprising. I'm Sonali Kohatkar. More than 100 women in El Salvador have been imprisoned over the past 10 years for abortion-related crimes. In 17 of those cases, women who have miscarried have also been convicted and sentenced to lengthy terms. The law has been widely condemned internationally. Even the president of El Salvador's own legislative assembly, Sigfrido Reyes, has called it, quote, medieval. In 1998, an incoming conservative government changed El Salvador's abortion law so that exceptions for rape and medical risk were eliminated. Now abortion is completely illegal, and apparently so is miscarriage. To many, that sounds ludicrous, given that miscarriage is as out of one's control as, say, cancer is. There is now a global movement to free the 17 women imprisoned for miscarriage. Last week, a number of activists in the United States participated in a sit-in at the Salvadoran Embassy in Washington, D.C., in solidarity with the imprisoned Salvadoran women. Four of the activists were arrested, among them my guest, Paki Wieland. She's a longtime peace and justice activist and a member of Grandmothers for Peace. Welcome to Uprising, Paki. Thank you. It's good to be here. Now, Thanks for sh shedding, shedding some light on this issue, too. Are the uh, women imprisoned for having miscarriages being convicted of homicide? Why is this carrying a, a worse sentence than the abortion-related crimes? Uh, and, of course, I personally consider neither of those things crimes. Right. I agree with you. Um, yes, it seems that what had happened was a lot of women had been uh, had been convicted of abortions, but the abortion conviction only has eight years as a sentence. The aggravated homicide, which many of the women have been convicted of, has a minimum sentence of 30 years. And a number of women that the School of America's delegation met with this past winter um, have served already eight years of a 30-year prison sentence. Hmm. 